Mallorca, Tabrizi Island, biggest among all the Balearic Islands, located about 125 miles off the coast of mainland Spain. A trip to an island begins in Palma, that is the capital of Mallorca, and continue in villages where you can forget about the outside world like Carnival or Soler. The climate in Mallorca is always mild and everywhere you go you will find the true Mediterranean lifestyle and cuisine because Mallorca really embodies the true Mediterranean spirit. Mallorca is mostly known as a party island, but that's not all the Balearic Islands have to offer. You can also spend a quieter holiday in Mallorca, relaxing on the beach, sightseeing in the historic old towns and old ports of the small towns, hiking along the wild coast or in the hinterland. Mallorca is so much more than just a party island. The weather in Mallorca is as contrasting as its landscape. But in general, it can be said that winters are short and mild, summers are long and warm, spring and autumn are considered the golden seasons. We explored the area when the flowers were blooming and can be seen everywhere in spring. And the good part about visiting Mallorca in spring season is that the temperatures are mild and the greener landscape is at its best. The public transport in Mallorca is just okay. Several buses are running on an island, but to really explore an island, you definitely need a car. In fact, where we booked our stay, there were no buses running on the route. Therefore, we certainly recommend you to rent a car and explore the Mallorca's diversity. Our first stop on an island was not Mallorca's capital city or any big town. Instead, we looked for an option which is quiet on a countryside. Carnival is a small, relaxed, coastal holiday resort town on one of the most eastern points of Mallorca in the municipality of Cap de Pera. Carnival is a stunning blue flag beach 10 kilometers from the villages of Arta and Cap de Pera and 76 kilometers from Palma Airport. It is situated in a picturesque bay surrounded on both sides by the hills. There used to be a sugarcane plantation and apiaries here in the region during the 18th century and this is where the name Carnimal is derived from which refers to a sugarcane and honey in ancient Latin. The river Torrente de Carnimal which flows in from an ancient neighboring town of Arta washes fresh water into the local beach. 
The beach is a tree filled area which is great for walking and bird watching. There are also a few trails and caves to explore on the surrounding low cliffs. In the morning, we took little hike to the hill which led us on the top of the mountain and there we were greeted by the beautiful sunrise. Arta, the cultural city. The northeast of Mallorca is still one of the very original regions on the Balearic Island that have hardly been touched by the mass tourism. The city has modernized over the past few decades without giving up its historically grown overall image. And an impressive testimony to the island's history is the Almudaina di Arta. In Arta, you are walking on historical ground. The town's origin date back to the 13th century. Today, Arta is not only known as a picturesque individual holiday resort, but also as a town of artists. The completely preserved castle complex on the Calvary of the city originally dates from the Moorish era. You can reach the top by a staircase lined with the cypresses. Inside the imposing fortress walls, there is a pilgrimage church from the 14th century. Cala Agula, the another beautiful beach in the northeast coast of Mallorca. It is located in the municipality of Cap de Pera, near the town of Cala Rajada. It is the 800 meters long beach of fine sand and clear waters. Cala Molto is the another rocky beach located next to the popular beach of Cala Agula. The environment where these beaches are located is attractive. It is surrounded by vegetation in a deep inlet as if it was a small bay. Exit through a forest, it contrasts stunningly the shadow of the trees and the white of the sand and the turquoise stones of the sea. After relaxing on the beach, you can take a walk and explore this part of Mallorca. There are some beautiful hikes around the area which will take you on a top and gives the panoramic view of the northeast coast of Mallorca. After spending the quiet day at the beach, we decided to sightsee. So we walked through the Mediterranean forest and reached the top of the hill where there was a watchtower named as Son Yaumil. It is a mountain of 277 meters high where a watchtower that dates from the 16th century is located. After spending a relaxing day at a beach, you can take a stop and visit the beautiful castle in the village of Cap de Pera. 
It is a fortified structure built during the 14th century under the orders of King Yao Mil II so that the inhabitants of the region would have somewhere to settle especially during those periods when pirate attacks were more common in the 16th century it hosted 125 houses within its walls but 200 years later it became a military outpost and most of the population lived outside and now in this century it have been converted into a tourist destination Thank you.